just going through the technique. So for this one, we're going to need something to pop the knee up on. So here I've got a little yoga block, or you could just as easily be using a mat, fold it in two, and it's just a nice way to bring the knee up so it let, lets the opposite leg move freely into that flexion and extended position. So we're coming down into quadrupeds, so we're going to have the hands underneath the shoulders and the knees are going to be underneath the hip. We're going to have the pelvis roll back into a slight bit of a posterior tilt. And we're just making sure that we're untrugging the shoulders whilst pushing away from the floor. Also making sure we've got the rib cage down and we want to be keeping full within the tummy, contracting the abdominals. So from this point, this is where we're literally going to be working opposite. So I'm going to go with left shoulder flexion and right hip extension. They're going to be moving at the same time. So I'm going to take a breath in through the nose whilst keeping the rib cage down. So these two points here, and then you're going to be breathing out through the mouth as you come down, meeting the hands to that opposite knee. And again, breathing in through the nose, and then breathing out through the mouth. So there's different ways of doing the breathing. We could just as easily be breathing out through the mouth and then breathing in through the nose. It all depends on what it is that we want to achieve. We will make a note of it within your program. The important thing is when you're here is that you're not overextending that lower back. So the whole point is that you try and keep relatively neutral within your back all the way through the exercise. So not arching over arching here, or flexing too much. So everything should be relatively neutral again, to this point here. If you find that you are getting too much hamstring, or it might even cramp, then when you come back, if you maintain the knee flex position, so here, you could try that, and that sometimes works for getting rid, rid of that hamstring cramp. So you're literally just moving the heel up towards the ceiling. If you find that you're having difficulty controlling the lower back, because it keeps overarching, then you could try just coming down onto your forearms, hips up in the air. Same thing with the knee. So look for a level pelvis. We're going to be unshrugging, pushing away from the floor. And then you could try it this way. And that's a nice way just to control what that lower back is doing. So there's a few variations there. We will be making a note of what the repetition should be. Sometimes we might get you to go literally just reps up and down. Or we might get you to hold the position for X amount of breaths. So we'll make a note of it for you. But if you've got any questions, just let me know.